So I founded Skyfarer back in 2017 and it was all on that message of trying to provide societal change and that's through uh, this new high value technology of uh, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones being used in positive use cases like medical delivery. I think I just love solving problems in general. Uh, so being given a problem that, I mean, even if no one has solved it or it's a bit uncharted, then that is, it excites me in some ways. And that's one of the reasons why I went into what we're doing with drones and medical delivery. As an engineer, uh, you tend to think that you can solve all the problems yourself and do everything yourself, but I quickly learned that that just wasn't the case. There was too many facets uh, that needed attention and I'd met Paulius at university in my undergrad and um, I noticed he had a certain set of skills when it comes to uh, working with UAVs and that kind of technology and uh, that's when he came on board to the team and uh, we really uh, propelled, it, propelled it forward together. Skyfarer originally was supposed to be a drone manufacturing company which would supply drones to both UK and international customers. Um, but the thing is that when it came to building an actual drone, we found out that's not the piece of puzzle that's missing. Uh, the piece that's missing actually is uh, technology, software, um, logistical procedures uh, uh, that can make that point A to point B delivery safe and secure. Um, that's where we realized we need more help and two of us is not going to be enough. So we're at Cranfield Airport and in collaboration with Cranfield University, we're doing some emulated delivery operations at the airport itself. And this is a complex operation with manned aviation continuing. We want to prove that we can operate in these complex environments alongside manned aviation because we have those procedures in place uh, and we have the communication needed to be able to do it. Altitude Angel's role today is really to do a number of different things. With Skyfarer, we operate as the connection, allowing them to operate safely and put in flight plans uh, and to be able to track their vehicle as it's flying through the airspace. As one of our production airports, Cranfield are able to then track these operations, approve flight missions and also see them their operations live against the uh, against manned traffic that is operating in real time as we see around the airport. Altitude Angel provides a lot of the cloud services and back-end technology to allow us to integrate safely with UK airspace. So what we've done is we've created a number of um, apps and um, Raspberry Pi implementations that connect to that service and provide telemetry from our drones to their service, basically. So the cellular connectivity allows us to fly further than line of sight. O2 may, were an obvious choice really because they actually have um, interest in drones themselves. So they were a great partner really um, to work with. And um, they've provided so much uh, knowledge and um, help with the technology as well. They've also helped us with some of the security concerns and um, particularly on our roadmap as well, what we're thinking in the future. So um, they've been fantastic. So the challenge for Elliot and the team was to get permission from Ofcom to allow them to use 4G on their drone for this trial. And I guess the challenge for the industry going forward is that we've now got to make this, you know, permission to use the cellular network on a drone uh, an everyday occurrence. It, it can't be, you know, something that you have to go and ask special permission every time you need to use it if we're going to see the benefits of this innovation come to pass. And of course, ultimately, that allows the pilot to operate both safely and legally uh, by providing that connectivity for, for the beyond visual line of sight use case. The most complicated part of this operation is uh, trying to fit in with uh, manned aviation and uh, having to develop all the, all the safety procedures that will enable us to have a safe flight day. Uh, the risk is mitigated by uh, trying to develop all the safety procedures in cooperation with our partners, testing of the procedures and adjusting to real-world uh, issues.
So first of all, I really want to pay tribute to Elliot. He has founded a company and that is a great celebration of, of initiative and entrepreneurialism actually for one of our students. His vision about using drones for good, so for medical uh, logistics, for making sure you can get those uh, medical products delivered as fast as possible and as greenly as possible, uh, is, is a real vision, not, not only for the UK, but much more broadly. So he has done what an entrepreneur should do. He's taken a, an idea and is really bringing it into reality. And I want to congratulate him on that. It's very difficult in general to get an idea like this off of the ground from an idea to something that is at least a proof of concept. Uh, so we're very fortunate to have uh, Innovate UK backing us right from uh, the start of our kind of commercialisation roadmap uh, in 2020. And we've recently received funds from UKRI in a COVID-19 call uh, and they've been able to support the development within this project and getting to where we are today at Cranfield Airport. So the Skyfarer mission for us, um, lots of aspects to why we support Skyfarer and projects like Skyfarer Project. But for us, it's about early demonstration. So we're looking for pace and taking the technologies, applying them and getting early use case demonstration of an integrated range of technologies. And we think this project does exactly this. Drones in particular offer the opportunity to trailblaze some of the technologies that will find their way into larger aircraft in the future as well. I think the best in people putting on a challenge um, is to have that level of deep fulfilment in what you're doing and that's something that goes back to when I was going on this career journey in engineering. I didn't have that fulfilment and I didn't want to put my all into that job that I was doing. So I think the, the vision that we have around uh, making drone delivery possible and potentially saving lives with medical delivery is such a powerful message that, I mean, it has got people on board with the vision of Skyfo, with the team that we've got and with the partners that we have as well. And we've built a, a very diverse team into four areas that focus on the technology, the flying, the compliance, and the logistics and supply chain as well. And we've also built a plethora of partnerships, including O2 for that cellular connectivity, Altitude Angel for the unmanned traffic management and deconflicting from aviation, as well as uh, academia like Cranfield University that can provide that expertise into what the future looks like and what we're capable of doing now. So it's, it's a big vision and it needs a big team. And we started off as a, a blank sheet of paper, one side of paper, uh, easily terrible, and now we are a book uh, where we are much stronger together and we can move forward into making that vision a reality now.